Hey everyone, it's Chanezi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel Nezzle and to another vlog. In today's video, we are hashing in Last Suggest in St. David. of the day suggests that we could either go left up this way or we could go straight here it is kicked straight so we're gonna go straight hey what's up coconut trees and palm trees which technically coconut trees are hello sheep hey yes give me some attention how you doing hey doggies good a bit of a muddy patch here but just gotta jump over it This seems to be a circle again, kicked left, so I think we're going to continue left, but there was also the option to go down this way, but I believe the correct way is to go straight. Hello! Hello doggy! How are you? You doing good? Yeah? You look like cashew! It seems as if, if you took the right that I showed you guys lower down there, you might have come up here so technically in this case it wasn't a false trail but just two options for the trail you can go back right that way but we're going straight here we have a sapodilla tree and there's a sheep making a lot of noise saying i want to be in your vlog sure you may be. You're welcome. Let's look at this lovely palm tree here. This person here has a lot of really lovely plants in their yard. I really like this plant here with the spiky leaves and the purpley pinky flowers. I'm not sure what it's called though. Here we have the frangipani, which is one I particularly like. Of course, special mention must be given to the bougainvillea, which is the national flower. Say it with me, 
I'm really the Karakum Pichimahnik. Yeah. This is another variation of the Bougainvillea hair. Lovely, lovely pink. I really like this one. This one doesn't have the little flower in the middle. Guys, look at the mangoes on the street. I could bite into some mangoes right now. I love mangoes. Especially when they're hard and not too hairy, like um, tready, I think is the better word. Yes, not too tready. Yeah, I like that. So guys, I'm enjoying seeing Lassa Jess so far. You know, I'm getting to see a lot of the houses and so a lot of the flowers and the trees. And just everything is really lovely. If you like it as well, then thumbs up the video so I'll know. And I met a lot of people outside cutting their lawns and a lot of kids out as well. And everybody is friendly. And it's just a lovely afternoon hash hike stroll so far it's not a difficult one hence the use of the word stroll which i definitely cannot use for all hashes but so far so good i do have a little bit of a you know it is a little workout but it's nothing too horrible i'm really liking this one so far we're coming to the brow of this hill and i feel like it's going to lead to a beautiful view You're beautiful too, but I wasn't talking about you. Lovely. <laughs> That's all right. Very calling you again. Not even nice. Wait, no, where to park it? Not too shabby. Alright guys, so I'm here by a bay leaf tree and you can see what the leaves look like. These are some really nice young ones here and here we have the older ones which you see is a bit thicker. And the bay leaf has a really nice aromatic smell. Like when you take it in, it's just so, I love, I love to smell bay leaf. And you can use it in your cooking. So people tend to use it, especially when they're making porridges. So they put a leaf or two in there and it adds a lot of flavor to the porridge. You leave it to sit for a little while and then you can remove it and have the porridge. It also tastes really good in sorrel. So when you're making your sorrel, you can put a few leaves in there and it adds some flavor to the drink. Comment below and let me know if you've tried bay leaf before, how you used it and what you think of it. So good. Here we have a nice pineapple field. It looks like the others have already been harvested. However, there is a big juicy one here waiting for its owner to come and harvest it. I really love hibiscus, especially the pink one. The different colors, but the pink is my favorite. Pink is my favorite color, so maybe that's why, but I just really like that one. The doggies are giving me a warm welcome. Hi, doggy. Hi, doggy. Oh, you growled up. Okay, bye bye. Hey, sheep. Alright, 
Let's see the turning here. Heading down this side. Passing here by the river. You see people have been washing here. They were still here kicked in three different directions. So I'm not sure where we're supposed to go. So I'm gonna try right and see if that's the correct route. Honestly, it's hard to know because there's no real distinction. So we're just gonna try and see at this point. So there's an X there, so that tells us that this is a false trail. So we have to try one of the other two options and see which one is correct. So we tried going left. And it was incorrect. So we're gonna go straight because it seems like this one is kicked the most. This is really beautiful. A nice driveway leading down to the home down there. Some sucker trees. It looks like they might be clearing the land here. The plant. Here we have an interesting weed. He's pretty cute. Not sure it is called and now we have to go up this incline here so it turns out it's not as flat as i thought it would be and i'm starting to get tired but you know it's still not a bad trail i'm enjoying it ready to get back in though and have myself a nice malt and something to eat y'all about to get something to eat y'all having fun see ya guys we just keep going up and up and up and up and up and up and I am so tired and hungry going up here hey what's up how are you doing you're beautiful you're beautiful too guys look at a spider guys look at a spider it's so cute it just feels like never-ending climbing a never-ending bush at this point your girl is tired and i'm just blowing so heavily look at this Ooh. we finally made it to the top at least that's what i think it was a climb and i'm seeing an abandoned home here like somebody was gonna come live here and then they decided they couldn't do this climb every day so they changed their mind so many congarees on this trail too or millipedes and i just really don't like them i'm going down here now we're here by the river now there's a lot of bamboo around as well and there's a little dog that doesn't want me to pet Why is this tree huge? Hi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I think there's many people left behind you. Know? Really? You should go back. There were other people? Alright guys, we finally seen the light. We came out of a really dark section. I didn't even bother to keep my camera up because it just didn't make any sense. We have to go onto the main road and then we can just head back in. We just met the hare, who is the person who set the trail. That gentleman in the black there. Yeah, he did he did that to us. He did it. Uh, yeah, so the trail so far has been about 2.5 miles and we're close to the main road and then we should be back in. It's after 6 now so we just want to beat the light and get back in. Alright guys, so we have cane grass here. Lots of cane grass. So we're going up onto the main road. Guys, here is a carambola or a five finger tree. Over there, yeah. Some lovely ones, but these are green. There are some ripe ones high up. Hi, guys. So, we are on the main road now, and 
we're just going to stay on the main road and head back in the trail technically was supposed to go back into the bush or not necessarily the bush but we would have been on a safer road but an off road and i think it may be longer so the hair suggested in the interest of time and not getting stuck out here in the dark that we should just stay on the main road and walk back in so that is what we are doing Heading back to the last just playing field, which was the starting point and which is also the ending point of today's hash. St. David Agro and Cottages is up this road here. Elvira's Garden, one gap at a time. So we were in there earlier. Enjoy your meal. Point Marquee is located through this way so you have to go through this gate to get into Point Marquee Alright guys, so we're pretty much back now and this definitely was one of the more challenging hashes it started off, you know, seemingly easy and then the fire came, you know, the fire came I enjoyed it nonetheless but it wasn't an easy one I personally didn't see the distinction for the walkers or runners but I did hear that for this trail the distinction was pretty late so it didn't really make much of a difference which trail you did so today's hash was definitely a challenge especially for people who are new to hashing it wouldn't be the ideal first hash so I do feel it for the people who hash today as their first hash. But nonetheless, they did it and it was a successful one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs it up if you did. Comment below and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!